That's okay. That's a nice walleye. That is you want to hold nice it? Walleye. That's a keeper. I don't want to hold it. North Mountain Adventures is brought to you by Athlon Optics, Wolverine Supplies, Gem Insurance, Bankart Marketing, Repromap Graphic Design, CNC Rentals and Recreation, Dan Beaver Trapping Supplies, and these fine sponsors. seven hour trek to Thompson for the night but on the way there's always some nice spots to check out and Pisu Falls. Pisu! It's Pisu Falls! I knew I'd get her eyes out of her. You keep saying it wrong. Uh, we're gonna check it out. Kirsten's never seen it before. So we'll take a walk down. Day two of our trip to Sitka Lake Lodge, and uh, we stayed in Thompson, Manitoba. So we got about 323k to go. We're gonna stop and uh, grab some Timmy's. Um, yeah. 6:44 in the morning. So uh, we'll see you there. First timers, what do you think? <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, we're excited. We got a trusty pilot. He we'll says, Rick says he hasn't crashed in seven years, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to North Mountain Adventures TV. As you can see, we made it to our cabin up here at Sicka Lake. This is an amazing spot. Uh, beach behind us. The lake has walleye and pike, and they also have some other lakes around. Black Trout Lake, which isn't far. It's a little bit of a walk, which has trout in it, which we will try also this week. But I'll just take you on a little tour here. As you can see, they have more than enough boats for the guests. Main Lodge. It's pretty sweet. 
sweet. Everything is run on a massive generator. So they do laundry and everything right here on site. Wood stoves in the cabins. All of the supplies are flown in or driven in in the winter when it freezes up. They're able to bring in all supplies to ease up on the summer. You'll probably get them. When you feel him hit, go like this. Just jerk it. Oh. Oh, you, oh, got, you got him. Nice, nice, nice. You got him. Nice. Okay, real, real, real. Keep real. Can tip up and real. Just stay with oh, her, Hayden. Like it's a big one. one. Stay with her to help her. Yep. Yep. Just make sure you keep your tip up. He's close. He's right. Up, he's right out here. I can see him. I can see him. Oh, he's big. He's huge. He looks huge. I don't know if he is. Okay. Okay. Oh. Real, real, real. Okay. Another big one. He's got a net. Where'd he go? He's right here. I can see the, the hook. Okay. Let me. Oh, it's another huge one, Kirsten. Oh, here, let me see that net, please. Oh, he's fighting. Get his head in first. Okay, okay now lift. Scoop, 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 lift. Nice! Let's go. go. <laughs> Bring him up. No. Holy cow, he's a massive big old slimy fish. Jeez, yeah. that's a huge. I'll take a still shot of it after. Good stuff, smile. Okay. Okay. You need a net yep. for that one. Nope. Nice. Holy cow, that's a huge one. <laughs> that's a good one. Where's the fisher girl back there? Oh, I ripped his lip. That's okay. That's a yeah, nice walleye. That is you a very hold nice it? walleye. That's a keeper. I don't want to hold it. Just catch it over the fish on this. Good. Oh, so Kirsten's got another walleye. Nope. So, oh, nope. It's a pike. Ah, she's got a pike down there. I got a good one. Hold on. Dad's got one on. Fish, fish on. Dad's got a good one. Huh? Oh, yeah, I see it. Nice boy. Oh, yeah, yeah really another nice one. Nice. They feel a little bigger because they're in fast water, right? Eh? Yeah. With the other one. Beauty. Oh, I'm slimy. Oh, I caught a jack with a pickle in the mouth. <laughs> now that's cool. The, yeah, the, I caught the pickerel and then the jack had he, him. He let go at last second, but I already had him in the net. And the pickerel just jumped out of his mouth. There you go. We'll let them both go away. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. they're pretty small. Yeah, that little, he's a little fella. So we were out day one. We caught, I don't know, just caught 20 some fish in an hour or so. And uh, there's a couple guests coming in, so. The beaver's just arriving. So we'll get to see him land. beautiful is in here. I woke up, it's 4.30 in the morning, seeing the sun rising and fish jumping out in front of the beach here so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get up and uh, see if I can catch a big pike. Kirsten caught a 40 and a half inch right off the sand here. Hayden must have caught 10 or 12 fish. But, Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Let's see what I can see what I can catch. Alright, day two. We are headed out on a fish. We need to get enough for supper, so there's ten of us in camp. So we're gonna have some fun today and hopefully uh, catch a few fish. Maybe a master angler. Okay. 
of yours. I'll be right here with you. <laughs> I'll anchor the rod for you. Ah. Okay. okay, try real. Just nice and slow. Nice and slow. It's not a race. Okay, Hayden, net him. Okay. What do you got, babes? A walleye. Pull it in. I want to take a picture with you. That's a keeper. He's a beauty. Want a picture? Dad's gonna... <laughs> well... Do they eat mouse? Yeah. We, uh... We made it out on our own and uh, we kind of fished up and down. We found a really good spot for a bunch of pike, Mel and the kids couldn't even keep them off their hook. And then I found a little inlet. Trim up to get in here. You can see some rocks ahead so there's a little bit of current and sure enough we got into the walleye and Kirsten caught a huge jack and a couple other jacks but we probably caught, I don't know, 10 fish, 15 fish in like 15 minutes here. And we're doing good. It's a pretty sweet trip so far. Okay, so day three. Yesterday was unreal. We caught a pile of fish, had a nice fish fry before we went to bed. And today we're gonna explore a bit. And Rick's taking us to Chicken Lake, which is three miles. Tomorrow we might try black trout. So we'll go check it out and uh, see what kind of fish we can bring in. The trail's pretty plain. For some reason, I guess we were busy. We've got two boats here. One of them's that uh, water for 25 on the Portage number one. Well, we made her. We uh, portaged three times and we got into chicken so we're gonna go see what we can find here in this beautiful lake it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be where are we fishing we're in a bay where I've rounded up I went out on the lake back and forth did my patterns and rounded up the big jacks and pushed them into here so we can catch them <laughs> oh goodness guide extraordinaire figures that Every spot is the spot. <laughs> Have I steered you wrong yet? Well, this might be one of those times. I feel like we I might be in a are. swampy just, you bay. You can't bring your guests to the best spot right off the bat because then they're just gonna expect it. So you take them to a couple bad spots and then you hit the good spot at the end. Right? I suppose. Oh, see, see. Oh my God! Told you. He got, he's big and he got eaten alive. By All right. Well, let's go Look see. Look at that scars. Holy cow! There's oh like holes in him anywhere, and he looks blind. Oh, there's a giant in here then. Oh, oh my, my God! Did you God. see that thing? I told you. Hey, this. What did I tell you? Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one, Craig. That's a gooder. Hey, you got a nice one. Okay. So. Come look at so is it possible that bay had only one fish in it, Craig? It's possible, or my son must have taken right. How about your casting? How, was that? Hey? How about your casting? My casting? It was good. Did you catch one in there? I did it, but it's probably because there was none in there. It was too shallow. So there was this time where Mel said, let's not go by the rapids. Because you never seen that movie without a paddle. <laughs> Cast! Buddy, and you gonna catch this one? 
the boat motor might shut down. We might end up in the rapids, the coast to coast rapids over there. This guy decides to bring us there. And what happened, Craig? The motor died. <laughs> and guide extraordinaire started saying, grab a paddle, grab a paddle. <laughs> few hours and see uh, what we can catch. It's a pipe. It's a trout. No it's way. Trout. Oh my gosh, it is a trout. Oh, man. two of them. Oh, you got two of them down. You got two trout. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's that one. of the black trout. Rick really wanted us to come out here and see if we could find them and catch them. And uh, I've already pulled three in. Well, two on one hook, so that was lucky. And Hayden lost one, so. And, and hey, really? Pull up hard. If you got them, you got them. I got one. Yeah. Okay. Reel it up. What are you guys using for bait? We, sucker. We're using sucker. Oh, and... I lost them. Oh, shoot. You ready? Pierce has got a trout. Look at the size of that jack. Had a girl. That's run. Too big for the net. Okay, pull him back. Pull him back. We should have brought him. Oh. Oh, 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 boy. Yeah! <laughs> pull him in, pull him. <laughs> Oh, and the hook come out. Oh. Oh, my gosh, it's this huge. Is it more than 40? No. Oh, I'm not going to grab the machine. She's not going to grab the machine. Wait, how? Give him a measure. Oh, 37. 37 and a half. 37 and a half? Wait, but my other one was 40 and a half. Yeah, your other one's bigger. Really? Yeah. Pass me mom net. Kirsten hold mom's line. Yep. Feels like a good one. Finally. Down, don't get away. After returning and chatting with Rick, it turns out these were not the black trout species we were after, which actually look quite different than these Lakers. It's a bittersweet feeling when a cool trip like this is coming to an end. We had no expectations coming here and nothing but the excitement of a new experience on our minds. From the moment we landed, Rick and Simon welcomed us in like family. 
From the cozy little cabins with warm showers to the main lodge with a commercial kitchen, comfy seating and big dining room, the accommodations were top notch. Waking up to the northern sunrise, the beach for the kids, world class fishing on every lake we hit, then ending the days with a fish fry over the fire, it honestly doesn't get any better than this. Whether it's a remote family getaway or a boys trip to slay the fish, we highly recommend Sickle Lake Wilderness Resort. This place will always be special for us and no doubt we will be back. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of North Mountain Adventures TV. We are taking off today from Sickle Lake. We got to experience three different lakes. We caught walleye, pike, and we got some black trout, which was an amazing experience. You guys yeah. had fun? Oh yeah, it was a blast. We hammered every single fish we went for. Yeah. It right was on. great. Well, tune into our next episode. Where I live, where I lie, where I stand, where I